lost nothing less than 100 rabbits. I killed the zeal of that rearing livestock. Then, I now remember that, ah, she be me too, I do write proposal for people. So one of those proposals, let me go and get the copy, let me see what I can do. Then, the zeal of doing block industry now came. The challenge now is that, how am I going to get capital to start business? My name is Mr. Salah Ismail, the CEO Achiever of Global Concepts. This is my Ozu story. Yeah, my Ozu story is, is somehow very, very, very rough. Very, very rough. Actually, in a, in a situation whereby there is nowhere from him, either from the father or from the mother or even from the extended family. My own part of story started after my ND program when I went for IT. And I could remember during that time, there is no, we could say there is no help, but fortunate for me, there's a friend of mine that introduced me to one particular uh, work at that time as a sales rep in Kuto Market here in Abekuta. So that is where the Osley line started. So I was selling Unilever products. So from there, so I get to discover myself that I'm, I'm very sure, I, I get to know that salary is not enough for me in terms of the, my spirit doesn't work under someone. So three months after that place, I told them I want to, I'm, I'm going back to school. Though my IT has not finished, but they want me to finish. They even promised me, promised me that they will make me the manager of that company. And I said no, because at that time, I've been thinking of how, what can I do? What, what, can I, what can I go into? So that is when I started uh, running. After I left that place, I came back to school to start running business center, where we do photocopy online, online registration for students, we help them to pay school fees. So I use that business to enroll myself for HND. So and I use that business to pay all, 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 all whatever I needed for that program. So and after we finish HND, we stay back in the school running the business center. So as time goes on, you know, Bukata will continue to increase. I'm a mama John, yeah, mama John. So that is when I have to sit down again that, what can I go into? But I'm mean, someone that is, uh, should I say I'm gifted in terms of writing business plan. So I do write business plan for people and they will pay me. So I've, I've wrote business plan on uh, bread, bread making, pure water making, blog industry. But, so and I wrote, so when I, I wrote, I wrote, I, I wrote the business plan on blog industry for someone. So that person now called me that I should come that we should run it together and establish the business. So then I did, I did just to practicalize what I wrote on that business plan for the person. So after we established the business, so then my own job has done. So the person now said, I cannot go, I should try and run it for a while. So, but I don't have choice. So I stay with the person to run it for a while. So as time goes on, I have my own line of Ozu. So because my spirit doesn't like staying in one place. So then I left. But before I left, yeah, the owner of that company has employed one particular secretary. So she was the one that is running it because I have another farm because I'm a, I'm a farmer also because I do anything that has to, that, that has to do with, that, that will generate an income. I did a bit here in front of my house where I do post it on Gigi to advertise it. I get call from Abuja, Lagos, Cross River. This is not also enough. And again, during the period, I have a challenge whereby my farm, I have a disease that I enter the farm. I lost nothing less than 100 rabbits at that particular time. So that killed the zeal of that rearing livestock. The morale was down. I was thinking of what else can I do. Then, I now remember that, ah, she be me too, I do write proposal for people. So one of those proposals, let me go and get the copy, let me see what I can do. Then, the zeal of doing, what's it called? Uh, block industry now came. So the, the challenge now is that, where can I get land? Because there's no way you want to do block that you don't have the land. Then I, I approached one of my uncle in, here in our community. His name is uh, Mr. Musiliu. Then I told him, ah, I, have, I, have, I have the zeal to start uh, what is it called, block industry, but I don't have land. Ah, he said he has two plots of land now. Where I should come and check if I like it. It was just like a dream. The, 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 the next day was, how am I going to get capital to start business? Because one way or the other, you have to have a, 
machine, pallet, you have a shed, then generator, then the working capital that you use to buy sand and cement. So at that time, there's no money, nobody to go to, and you have nobody to run to. So and I have one particular, it's like a cooperative that I'm doing that time. So I have to approach them because I've been running it in one way or the other way, but I don't have any bad record with them. So when I approach them that I need 500,000 naira. Okay, they said, okay, they said I can only collect 5,000. I approached them for 1 million naira. They said I can only collect 500,000. So I now come back home. What can I do with 500,000 naira? If I don't have the machine, it's about that time. It's about uh, 250,000. So if I remove 250,000 for 500,000 naira loan, how much am I going to buy pallet? The pallet is at 400,000 naira, uh, 400 naira per pallet there. So I ran really minimum of about 500 pieces. So the money was not enough. Okay, what can I do? So I made the move, I collected the money. So I bought machine and I erected it. And I bought little pallet that that money can buy. So it's now left with, okay, what can I, how can I get, uh, what is it called? The capital to buy sand and to buy. So from there, I begin to source for money. Ah, it was not easy. Very, very rough. Begin to source for money. Okay, where can I get money? Okay, who can borrow me money? So that is how I, I managed to buy more pallets. Then after some, some while, then I, I was able to lay my hand on another 200,000 naira. So at that time, they were selling sand, Volvo sand at 18,000 or so. So that is how the business started. So the challenge was that, was that okay, even if you have a sales or maybe somebody asks you to bring 1,000 pieces of block, You'll be having challenge that okay, which which truck you will call you will call to come and help you deliver the load. So the challenge was just too much because you as soon as somebody call that they need 500 pieces of block, you will now call a truck to come and help you move it because I don't have truck. Before the person will now come, even the owner may call you back that okay, ah, Mr. Achiva, please oh, don't come again. You we have called uh, we have uh, somebody else has supply us. So most time I will go home and be crying. That particular time, if anybody call me that they need block. I will be crying because the fear is that if they pay me, which truck will I call to deliver that block for them? There's one particular man that do, that I do use his, his truck to. So sometimes I do tip him. You know, you buy a machine that I so that I'll pay extra charges. So that one way or the other, if I call him, you'll be able to come on time. I run that company for like, I run that, what's it called? Block industry without the truck for like eight months. It was very rough because Assuming you, you maybe you sell 1,000 block and you and after selling the 1,000 block, maybe 20,000 or 15,000 is your own. Truck will collect, inside that 20,000 naira, truck will collect 12,000. It's even more than 50%. You, the owner, will not be. So it has been somebody, something that is you give you, you, you will not even enjoy the business if you don't have a truck. So that is when I approach the okay, this business is not complete without a truck. So by that eight months, I've returned, I've paid back the 500,000 naira. Then I now approach them that don't okay, I need one million naira. So when I, when I, I then they all the requirement, I patch it up with the what's it called the guarantor. So at the end of the day, the money came in. That is when the the truck the truck God bought the truck for me. So from there, I now begin to enjoy this work. Because if I do my block, if somebody call me by 7 p.m. in the evening, that they need zero hundred, I can just get there, call loader and load up and, and load and deliver. So from there, the little change on the block, I'm getting it. So the little change on block and on truck also, the thing is coming back to my company. So it has been a blessing. That is when I begin to enjoy this work. Without truck, it was very rough. You know that line they borrowed me. It's not my own. Then another dig now came in that okay. What of if the owner said they want to use the land? So I begin to look for a particular land that is very, very near to the main road. So that is what brought me here. And I can only say that will be the first time that I will buy something from my own personal pocket without borrowing or getting any loan. Because the truck has been a blessing to my establishment. So then as science goes on, I begin to buy water. Then I begin to calculate the money I used to buy water. And I see that under three months, I've spent more than 300,000 naira on water. Okay, that's why, okay, if that should be the case, let me try and save up and buy and do my own ball. So that is when the ball now came in. Though it was, was not easy. So now after we have done the ball, it's now the milk. Okay, what, what should we now do about the water service? We have been using it to weld, to mix block. Okay, that is when we now say, okay, 
another expansion should come in. If you know you already, I do call people that I do call water water people to come and give my customer water. So it's not very easy for me to catch up because they will not come in, they need water. They don't mind who is going to bring the water, all they just need is the water. So when they not call me, I will not just so I'll just take the water to them. And from there now, ah, achieve are you, ah, you now selling water? I ah, didn't tell me they want to do and the water is very suitable to drink. So if I get very moon, they get very so. From there, you begin to generate more, more customers. Even there are some that I will not even be the one to sell block to them. They will say they need water, they will call us. Then we, we now went there to, to, to give them uh, the water. And I, and I thank my wife also. She has been very, very helpful. Because uh, when you do block, you have to wet it very well. So that aspect, my wife and do that. And I thank her very much. Because if you do, if you do block, you didn't wet very well. It's another problem. To be a rich man is not easy. To be a poor man is not easy. If you are a rich man, you'll be working hard not to get poor. And if you are also a poor man, you also be working hard to get rich. So both of us we have a work to do. To all youth like me, is that don't take no for answer and work on yourself. If it is Baba that you can do, do it. If it is mechanic, even uh, you can see now that people are not even if I want to do something in the truck, you will see it is will be people, old people, no money that motto. Well, Lomo Chekokomo, to Babi Lomo Chemo, that one year, because I never call Chemo. Oh, now, Abu, to my dad, about to die, but I'm about to buy a ballon, all over my two motors. So, any boys, any young people, hey, Joe, let us be serious with our life because everything counts. There will be a time that there will not be power to carry anything. It is whatever that we have done today will be what we eat tomorrow. Would you like to tell your hustle story and promote your business? Then contact us. Mm -hmm.